Hey, what are you looking at? Welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. On an ex another exciting episode of today's uh, beer reviews, I'm going to be reviewing the Hollandia. It's a 5.0% ABV at 500 milliliters. It is brewed specifically and precisely in Holland. <laughs> Um, it's supposed to be considered a premium lager. It is traditionally brewed. How it is traditionally brewed, you ask? I have no idea. I've had this out on my porch for a little while now. It's very nice and cold. And uh, it was originally uh, brewed and founded in 1758. There's ingredients in there, but I'm going to try to stay away from them because I like to go into these things blind, thanks to Chad's beer reviews. Let me uh, in on a couple of the secrets of beer reviewing back in the day. And uh, I'm going to be popping the can top, since it's a can, which I review so little of. Now, I'm just expecting this to taste kind of like your average Pilsner. Looks like your average Pilsner. Smells like your average Pilsner. Now... We have a very white head here. We got a two and a half finger head. Very uh, clear, uh, almost practically transparent looking uh, brew, which is usually a, uh, a common trait of a pilsner. And uh, underneath, as I like to, I like to look at the bubbles underneath a very clear beer like this. Let's give it a shot. Now, it is pretty much what I said. Premium or not, seems to be like your typical Pilsner. Doesn't taste like there's very much alcohol in there, even though it says that it's 5%. I'm tasting a little bit of the malts in there. I don't know if I'm picking up on any, uh, any hops or barleys or anything. But barley is in almost every single beer out there. Well... It's in a lot, so I'm just going to assume it's in there. Ingredients, uh, water, barley malt. So there you go. Uh, wheat, yeast, and there is hops, but I'm not picking up on any of the tastes. So uh, if you can point out what hop is in this uh, or what hops are in this that I'm not picking up on, please let me know. Uh, none of them are standing out to me. <clears throat> Now, one thing I don't like about this, it has a very uh, very sharp, very crisp aftertaste. I don't know if that's from the can. I don't know if it's from being a resemblance to a Pilsner or if it's being a Pilsner. This can does not actually tell you whether it is. Oh, it says it's a lager. Okay. But it drinks like a Pilsner from the front to the back, to the, all around the palate, the body, smoothness. Everything is resembling a Pilsner. Uh, with these types of beers, you can't expect them to, uh, to change taste throughout. <coughs> I, uh, I'm not really quite the fan of this. I, I like there to be flavor in my beer. I like it to be different than your average uh, traditional lager or pilsner um, if this were to take it to the next level or if it were to have real um, what's the word I should be looking for here uh, I don't want to say advanced tastes but uh, perfected tastes uh, I'm lost for words here uh, what I'm trying to say is that if this like uh, recently I, I reviewed a beer called uh, the anchor uh, brewery steam beer, something along those lines. Sure, it was uh, a steamed beer. It was uh, it was made from a very old recipe, but it was probably one of the best lagers or ales I've ever had in my life. And it was sticking with old traditional style brewing methods, and somehow it managed to come up with a taste that other uh, ales and lagers just don't offer for me. If you can come up with a, a pilsner beer. Um, that would do just that, I would be very happy because there's not really too many pilsters out there. 
The only uh, Piltner that I've enjoyed is Samuel Adams Noble Pills. That's it. And that's because there's a very cool, interesting taste in there that goes along with it. So that's it, people. That's all I'm doing for you. Typical beer. If you like, uh, if you like your typical beers out of out of Holland or uh, or Russia or um, some German uh, pilsners, that's the type of taste that this is uh, is going going for. So if you like those kinds of beers, be all my guest. Sorry, be my guest. I can't talk. And uh, go ahead and try a Hollandia. Uh, another thing I'm going to say right before the end of this beer review. <clears throat> what should I give this out of 5? I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. Because to me, it is your average Pilsner, baby. That's all I got to say. So uh, do me a favor. Don't drink and drive. But drink responsibly. And have a nice day. Cheers.